September, we are once again honoring our country's Hispanic heritage, showcasing Latinx stories from around the United States in a celebration of history and culture. We begin this month with a Colorado brewery breaking barriers by offering beer with a side of culture. Erica Gonzalez has a story behind one of Denver's first Hispanic owned breweries. When you have a beer at Raices, it should feel like an experience. The most important thing is to provide this place that is more than just a bar. <laughs> and it may be because the love its creators have for a carefully crafted cerveza. I love it. Uh, it's my passion. Is matched by the love they have for where they came from. This is our culture. This is our roots. We're proud of this. Raices translates to roots in Spanish. Jose Beteta recently planted his roots in Denver, Colorado, after living on the East Coast for decades. But Jose was raised in Costa Rica. His family immigrated to the U.S. when he was 13 years old without immigration papers in hopes of a better life. The necessity sometimes is bigger than the permission that you need to be able to move. Jose recalls one of his family's first nights in the U.S. He says it's similar to scenes still playing out today. Spending a night in the same jail cell overnight, terrified, not knowing what was going to happen. But Jose says his family persevered. He eventually became the first person in his family to graduate from college, and he recently became a U.S. permanent resident and is now part owner to one of Denver's first Hispanic owned breweries. And running a $3 million project is pretty amazing. Raices came together as Jose dreamed of a new business opportunity. He found an intriguing gap in his research. Out of over 8,000 plus breweries in the U.S., less than half of a percent of them are owned by Latinos, yet consumption is closer to 18 percent. For Jose and his partners, breaking into the competitive craft brewery business was only part of the goal. The beer almost becomes the vehicle for us to be able to accomplish the other things that have to do with culture. Every pour. We have bilingual beer servers. I think I'm going to get ready to talk about cerveza soon. Okay? To the ingredients. Our manguito beer. It's a 4.5 percent uh, summer ale. To the music. To the art. It's a celebration of who we are. Every aspect of Raices is infused with Latino culture. Jose hopes that it taps into the next generation of business owners and change makers. If we're able to impact young people and say, "Hey, be proud of where you came from. Be proud of the color of your skin and how you talk and what you look like." If we accomplish that at the end of the day, you feel better about yourself internally and you make bigger goals for yourself. And that's exactly what we want. In September, Raices helped host the first Latino craft brewery festival in Colorado. And once the pandemic is over, they hope to go back to hosting celebrations and events centered around issues impacting the Hispanic community. In Denver, I'm Erica Gonzalez.